Hey everybody, this is the Sliders Review, and I'm here today to talk to you about how Pixar slash Disney, mostly Pixar, is trying to appeal to bigots. Or better yet, they're just trying to appeal to a mass audience, which is just people who are white, who are angry about diversity. So, there's a huge debate going on on Twitter right now. Basically, it's turning red versus inside out, too. Now, I've already said that Pixar said that they're no longer going to make autobiographical movies from the directors, and they're just going to make movies that have mass appeal to everybody, similar to that of Inside Out 2. And I already said it's just their way of saying they don't want to make woke movies for people of color and they just want to make those angry white people happy so that they will go back to the theaters and watch their kids' movies. At first, I was thinking maybe, just maybe, they're talking about movies that are about inanimate objects such as Toy Story, cars, planes, Finding Nemo, things like that. And inside out deals with the inside of a little girl, so maybe that's what they're talking about. But just recently in everything, because I've never seen the inside out movies, because I just don't want to, because I don't really watch kitty movies no more. But apparently in Inside Out 2, that's supposed to have mass appeal for everybody, the little white girl in the movie is going through puberty and anxiety. Oh no, that's the thing Pixar said they don't want to do no more, right? Because that's what they complained about when they came to that Attorney Red Soul and some other movie I can't think of, right? Oh, um, Loco or something like that. And so they said, you know, they want a movie that can like, you know, like broaden the appeal of everybody so everybody can like, you know, be happy about the movie and nobody has to be offended, aka the white people being offended about people of color. Because Soul, Loco, and Turning Red are all about people of color going through experiences in life, but not just any experiences, the director experiences. Turning Red was directed by a Asian lady and she's talking about, you know, how she was as a teenager going through puberty, body change and stuff like that. That is what Turning Red is about. The little girl turns into a giant red panda. Soul was directed by both a white and a black man, not a biracial man of two races, but two complete different men. One's white, one's black. I don't know what it's about. I ain't never seen it, but it's a black man front and center. Then that Loco movie or whatever it's called, I can't, Luca, Luca, I think that's what it's called, Luca. Oh, I keep saying Loco for him, Luca. I could not think of that movie's name. I'm away from the computer right now. Luca is about a little Italian um, village with Italian characters and an Italian, I think like sea monster type person. The director is Italian. They're taking from their own experiences and infusing it into the movie. That was okay with Pixar when they was okay with trying to make movies vote in DEI and stuff like that. But as we all know, there's a certain hate group in this country and slightly not so much around the world, but mostly in this country that don't want to see movies about diversity. Oh no, they're replacing our white people and everything. So those angry people have now taken a stand and they don't want their kids to go see Disney movies, Pixar movies, blah, 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 blah. So this is starting to hurt ticket sales. So now Disney and Pixar are like, okay, let's roll this back now. Uh, let's make movies for everybody. Forget Lightyear. Let's pretend like that never happened and everything. All because there was one lesbian couple in the movie and they didn't even do nothing. All they did was hold hands and got married. And that's literally it. And that mostly just happened off screen for like a split second. And so that angered people. Oh no. And everything. And it's a load of BS because they're okay with the movie that stars a little white girl going through puberty and anxiety. But when the little Asian girl goes through puberty and anxiety, oh no, it's a bad thing. And I've said this before when it came to Luca, Soul, and Turning Red. 
The only reason why they did terrible in the box office was because of COVID. They had to literally shelve a lot of their theatrical releases and put it just on streaming. They didn't make that much money and that's what caused them to not be a financial success. But they have like, you know, success elsewhere because the general audience love those movies. But financially, it didn't do well only because of the pandemic. Now, let's look at Inside Out 2, the one that they thought was going to make millions and millions and millions of dollars. And the one they thought was going to be like the new revolutionary, like, you know, wave of movies that they're going forward with and everything. It has a budget of $200 million. It's so far, it's only been out for two days and it's only made $28.2 million. And that's in three completely different countries. In one country, it came out on the 10th, on the 12th, and another, and it just came out in America on the 14th, which was yesterday. Granted, it still has time to cook at the box office, but will it? Only time will tell. So far, they're not making their money back. People like the movie, yes, but so far, it's not the financial hit that they want. But like I said, it's only been two days in America, but it's been a couple of other days in other countries. And with a combined total of 28.2 million, that's not good. And so, like, but wait, this movie is supposed to be for everybody. This is movie is supposed to, like, fix everything, right? There, this movie is not about an um, autobiographical movie. No, this movie is supposed to be for everybody. But why is all of a sudden the people of color movies are a label autobiographical director movies, but this one is labeled as mass appeal for everybody? Do you, do you not smell the racism in their thing? Do you not see them trying to appeal to bigots? And that's what I don't understand. Why is everybody trying to appeal to bigots for? Why? Studios, TV studios, movie studios, even certain YouTubers are trying to appeal to bigots. They're starting to give up on diversity and appeal to people who scream woke 24 seven. I don't understand people like this. Why do you allow, and these people who are angry are mainly white men, um, the, the, the mean ones, not everybody, but you know what I mean. And of course, they managed to wrangle in some white women and everything. So why, since it's mostly white men complaining, why once again for the millionth time are people allowing white men to win? Have you not seen what's going on in the freaking government? Why are you letting them have a win in everything if these people are the ones making things worse? Make it make sense, people. Stop being lazy. Stop like, you know, letting them get away with everything. If you truly see that as like the problem. I do not understand people. Alrighty. Well, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.